Good morning, all. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Fine. Are you fine? Yes. At least give me a smile. Yes. So yesterday I have given you some homework, isn't it? I hope you have done that. Yes. No. This yes or this yes? So which one? This one. Krishna. Huh? So before solving the questions related to the topic that we have covered, let's revise the topic. Otherwise, I don't know whether you will try to answer the question or not. So our chapter was about file handling. So basically, what is a file handling? It means that storing of data in the file using a program. Storing of data in a file using a program. That is what is a file handling. Okay, so it is a mechanism by which we can read data of disk files in Python program. Okay, so basically there are two types of data files. Which are they? Hmm. Text files and binary Hi. files. Text files means, uh, what is the meaning of text file? Human readable. Hmm. The files which contains human readable characters, which means that we are able to read that data, isn't it? So, because of that, translation has been needed, isn't it? And while coming to the binary file, it contains character which is not recognized by us, which means that those who have joined now for the first time for them, I think you have seen some messages in which we can see only boxes and all, isn't it? Yes? Yes or no? Yes, no? In which we can't understand that language. So that type of uh, file is known as binary files, which is not understood by us. But it is familiar to whom? To the machine, isn't it? So basically there are two types of file, text file and binary file. So text files, it contains characters, which has been readable by us. And here you can see some of the extensions of the file, right? Yes, so yes. binary files can be of ASCII or Unicode. Okay, so you have learned yesterday that in binary or in text files, each line of a text file is terminated by a special character known as end of line. Okay, each line of a text file is been end with a special character known as end of file. So in Python, which is the default end of line character, it is slash n it is slash n today i will be uh, coming in your dreams and uh, i will be asking some questions regarding that so please do learn this okay so slash n means it is the default end of line character in python so basically there are two types of text files regular and delimited text files okay so basically there are two types of text files so so far we have learned that there are two types of files which are the two types of file Text and text and binary. Binary. So in text file, there are two types of file. Which are they? Regular and regular and delimited. Delimited. Okay. So while coming, while discussing about the regular text file. What is the meaning of that or what is a regular text file which shows the text in the same format as we type, isn't it? So the what is the extension of such file? It is .txt. Okay, after that, second one is delimited text file. What is that? A specific character which has been stored or uh, to separate the values, isn't it? That can be tab character or which can be comma. So TSV stands for tab separated values. Isn't it? And CSV stands for comma separated values. Right? Yes. yes. Here you can see one example of TSV file content and CSV. T stands for? Tab. Tab. C stands for? Comma. Okay. What about others? Hmm. Then comes our binary files. This is the last topic. No, uh, this is not the last topic, isn't it? So binary files are the files which show the information 
in the form of stream of bytes okay which means that zeros and ones isn't it then it stores the information in the same format as in the memory what about that uh, previous file what about the text file it shows the data as we typed isn't it yes yes ma'am and in this there is no delimiter and it is fast because it has been understood by the machine isn't it there is a no need of translation in binary files this is what we have discussed about the text file and the binary file then we have learned that when we are handling a file there are some specific operations as you do when you want to learn a particular subject first you have to open your book isn't it after that you have to do whatever you want it can be either writing or reading after that you have to close the file this is what you do right this is the procedure that you do so like that first we have to open a file after that we can perform our operation which can be read or write and after that we have to close the file then which is the uh, function to open a file open open okay so what are the combinations or manipulations that we can do in a file we can read we can write we can append so what is the uh, syntax for opening a file first we have to specify the file object okay then open function then you have to specify the file name this is the first method and second method is that by default if we have not specified any mode here so which is the default mode read read okay and if we have specified we can specify different types of mode which are they read write and append isn't it so after that here is one example this is the name of the file that we are going to open and this is the name of the file object then we have gone through why we are using double slash isn't it and if we are using r before that if we want to avoid this what is the alternative solution for uh, instead of writing double slash we can use r if r is been used before the path of the file then this string become a row string isn't it which means that it says that there is no special meaning attached to the any characters here okay so when we use r okay when we use r before the path it makes the string row string then we have gone through one of the example yes these are the topics that we have covered yesterday after that one more topic close so what is the use of a close function if you if we have open any file we have to definitely close that right to stop the execution of that file so what is the function that has been used close close isn't it now i'm going to display some questions please do try to write yes please try these questions some of the questions will be familiar to you some will be not familiar so please do write what you know read properly most of the answers are known by you try without understanding this basic concept we can move to the next topic a collection of bytes stored in computer secondary memory this answer is just related to your main topic main heading dash is a collection of dash dash is a collection of data of bytes
second one that is the process of storing data into file when we have started discussion this chapter discussing this chapter we have used that word dash is a process a process of storing data into files and allows to perform various task that is what this answer is about this answer is related to do uh, means related to our chapter all answers are related but this is the main answer the transfer of data from program to memory to permanent storage device and vice versa are known as what operation dash is a file that shows data the file that shows data is known as that is the answer of the fourth one the file which shows data is known as dash anyway this is familiar to you there are two types of files in which type of file eol is been used after that sixth one you can write this to open a file what is the file name file name is been mentioned and reading mode is been mentioned so how you can write seventh one to open a file with writing mode so what is the function that is to be written and here f refers to what to close this is also familiar to you to close a program to close a file which function you have to use to add what we have to do for this i will give you the clue i have just given i have just explained this with the help of my name to adding a data into an existing file then text file can be stored in two ways then this one also when you want to create a file which function you use shall we discuss shall we discuss yes or no okay so any guesses regarding the first question a collection of bytes stored in computer secondary memory is known as a collection of bytes the word that i am frequently using what is the answer it is file isn't it file is a collection of bytes isn't it it is a collection of bytes which has been stored in computer secondary memory okay next one dash is a process of storing data into files and allows to perform various tasks that is what that is what what is the answer or chapter's name what is the chapter's name file mm that is the answer so it is a process of storing data into files and which allows to perform various tasks with that file yes third one transferring data and uh, vice versa what is answer input output isn't it input output operations dash is a file that shows data so what is answer the file that show data is known as the file that show data is known as connect these words the file that stored data is known as yes what is answer data file excellent data file next one which files 
in which in dash files each line terminates with e o l what is the answer there are two types of file which are they binary and text so what is the answer here text text file in text files each line terminates with end of line next one 61 to open what is the syntax you know this one isn't it now you have to mention the file name so what is the file name what is the file name what is the file name here this is the file name isn't it to open file so in double quotes you have to write data dot txt after that mode has been given so which is a file mode here reading. reading so you have to write w right huh yeah. very good it is r for reading mode we have to write r okay this is how you have to write now i would like aditya can you just tell me the seventh answer for the seventh question try from open ah to open open okay open data dot txt like this ha huh? no man within brackets ah okay double quotes then double quotes ha huh. after that In comma huh? w okay for w. writing it is for writing it is w isn't it excellent now it one i would like to call krishna please try it one f stands for what f stands for what yes file file excellent it is file object right so here f stands for file object or we can also say it as file handle right or file handle now mm dia to close file in a program dash function is used which is a function which has been used to close a file yes Yes, dear. Yeah? Close. Excellent. It is close. Close. Yeah, close. Yes. Now I would like to call Emmanuel. Tenth one. Yes, Emmanuel. Append. Excellent. To add data into an existing file, we use append. now next one is do anyone have any idea the text file stores data in ascii or unicode form okay now i would like to call atul last one my dear you can create a file using dash function which is the function can you just repeat open function ah yes open function is it okay my dears there are some more questions ready to answer should i say, uh, share the screen once again now try to answer this questions is it visible my dears is it okay yeah you have to write 
first note down the question after that you just write the answer only every file has its own identity associated with it if i say a uh, video is having dot mp4 audio is having mp3 so what is the answer second question here r refers to what then u will stands for fourth one which of the following file types allows to store data large data files in computer memory large means the language which has been close to the machine from there you could have guess you can guess the answer fourth one which of the following file types allows to store large data files in the computer memory so from that from my clue you could guess the answer for the fourth one the language or the file which has been close to the computer or the format or the file which shows the same data as that has been stored in the computer memory and fifth one which is not a proper file access method you know you know the access method isn't it so what about this you're familiar with three other access methods completed shall we discuss yeah so anyone can answer to my question first one every file has its own identity associated with it which is known as yes no problem yes mp3 mp4 what is that extension excellent it is extension okay every file has its own identity associated with it which is extension yes moving to the second question your r stands for file very good third one E O L stands for end of line. End of line. End of line. Very good. What about the fourth one? Which of the following file types allows to store large data files in the computer memory? The file which shows the same data which has been stored in computer memory, which is close to the system. What is that? Binary file. excellent it is binary file what about the fifth one which of the following is not a proper file access mode which are the different file access modes read write hmm read write append so here which is not not a proper file close. access mode close excellent over Yes. Say yes or no. Yes. Yeah. Try. If it is over, let me know.
Is it over? Sixth one in Python by default, this AOL character is the, which is the end of line character. First one, right? Is it first one? No. Second one? No. Third one? This is the answer. Second one. Second one. Next. In which format binary file contains information? Binary. In which format? In I which form? No. Binary, which means that same format in which data is held in memory, isn't it? I have told you that this type of files doesn't need any translation because this language, the characters which has been stored in the binary file is close to close to memory, isn't it? Eight one. Is there a delimiter for binary file? Mm -hmm. No. What is easier for a program to read and write? Which type of file? Binary. Binary. Tenth one. For opening of the file, which command is used? Which command is used? Tenth one. Open. Which can open? Very good. Eleventh one. What does this code my file equal to open taxes dot txt means? First one. First one, right? Your file mode is not specified, which means that by default it is read mode, right? Now, next one. What are file object? Here it is stated that file object are used to read and write data to a file on the disk. Is it true or false? It is? True, right? So the file object are used to read and write data to a file on disk. What about the last one? We have gone through some of the binary file mode. So here, which is the binary file mode? Second. Or B. B stands for binary, right? So second one is the answer. Is it okay? Is it okay? One more question is there. Please do write.
Emmanuel Uwe Okay Yeah. After the scanner of the last slide. Uh -huh. Is it over? Yes, ma'am. Is it over? Yes. Over. Okay, right. So, identify name of file. Which is the name of the file? Which is the name of the file? Ah, this is the name of the file, isn't it? So, this one is the answer. Oops. So, which one is the answer? D, right? C. Oh, sorry, C. <laughs> Second one, identify name of function. Which is the name of the function? Here, yeah, which function has been used? Open. Open. Okay. Next one, the above statement will dash file in dash mode. This statement, from this statement. What is answer? It will? It will open a file which what mode? Using which mode? Read. Isn't it? Look at the example. Yes. It is not no file mode has been specified, which means that it is read mode. Okay? Yes? Is that clear? So that's all for today. Bye. Thank you.